What is going on everybody? It has been a very long time since I've actually posted a video. So hello to you. How are you? You look great. Ravishing. Fantastic. Just a little personal note, side note. I'm going to be moving out of this apartment at the end of March. So this might be my last video for like a month or two. I don't know. We have got to talk about David Dobrik. David Dobrik uh, came on the scene in like 2015, 2016. Uh, he, he made these vlogs that were 4 minutes and 20 seconds long, haha, <laughs> 420 blaze it, with uh, what he called the Vlog Squad, which was just a group of guys trying to get rich off of David. Um, anyway, he's been accused of some pretty bad stuff. Uh, he just released this yesterday. Hey guys, it's David. Um, I want to come on here real quick and address some conversations that have been going on on the internet. Um, I, you know, I've made over 600 videos and I've made a bunch of TikToks, Vines, Instagram stories, tweets, the whole thing. Um, and I'm obsessed with what I do. I love being able to make people happy for a living and that's all that I want to do. Um, that being said, consent is something that's super, super important to me. Whether I'm shooting with a friend or shooting with a stranger, I always make sure that whatever the video I'm putting out, I have the approval from that person. Um, and I also acknowledge that there's times where a person can change their mind and they decide that they no longer want to be associated, they no longer want to be in the video that I'm putting up and then I'll take the video down. And there's also been moments where I've looked back on videos and I realized that these don't represent me anymore and they're hurtful to other people and I don't, I don't want them up because I've, I've grown you know, as a content creator and as a person and I don't agree with some of the videos I've posted. Um, with, with the Seth situation, I'm sorry to Seth because I, like I said, I, I would just want to make videos where everybody in it, you know, whether you're participating or watching, is enjoying and having a good time. And I missed the mark with that one. And I'm really sorry. I, I truly, truly am. Um, and with, with people in my life that I don't film with anymore, um, like Dom and, you know, the other people that I no longer film with, I, I chose to distance myself because I don't align with some of the actions and I don't I don't stand for any kind of misconduct and I I'm I was just I've been really disappointed by some of my friends and for that reason I've separated from a lot of them. Um, I think with any video I make, my main purpose is to make people happy and, and inspire people and I just I never want anything to get in the way of that. And I'm sorry if I've let you down and things like that won't happen again. And I learned from my mistakes. Um, and I also believe that actions speak a lot louder than words. And you know, you can take my word for it that I'm gonna change, but I'll also show you and I'll prove to you that you know the mistakes I made before won't be happening again. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, I love you guys. So the apology was very, you know, short, so I give him points for that instead of posting like a 20 minute apology like most YouTubers. 2 minutes 42 seconds. Good. Um, if you just took that at, you know, first glance, you would think, oh, okay, he's, you know, I believe him. He's being earnest um, because, I mean, he's just such a charming guy. But then you start to look into the things that he was accused of. Uh, I'm just going to put it up right here. So this is just kind of like a timeline of the controversies. It starts out with how he got famous and everything. I'm not going to read all of this, but if you guys want to pause the video, you can. Um, I'm mainly just trying to get to the whole deal with uh, Seth, which was a member of the vlog squad. Um, what they did to Seth, uh, I mean, it's blatant sexual assault. Uh, there's no getting around it I'm going to talk about that in a minute in fact David talks about it uh, in a tweet he posted I'm about to put up but uh, you know in June 2017 you know they did pranks on their channel and um, the main thing that really got me was uh, back in 2018 whenever they were accused of buying an underage girl alcohol and then uh, you know graping her uh, it's just disgusting and like you would think like oh david you know he's such a charming guy here i'll, I'll get to it this is uh the tweet that uh, david said about i told seth uh, hey man i want to do this bit it's like a dream sequence 
where you where you make out with the mask guy and it just looks like you're dreaming and you're making out with an old man. I'm like, yeah, Seth, just don't hold back. You can make out as much as you want, have as much tongue as you want, just keep kissing her. And but what what Seth didn't know is that I replaced Corinna with Jason. <laughs> I sit down, I put my hand, I put my hand on Seth's knee, and I put my hand behind his back and start rubbing his back and squeezing his knee. And then he just just leans in and just goes at it. I slip him the tongue first. His friends are probably <laughs> gonna chew him out for that for the next like three, five years of his life. <laughs> well, as Seth tells it, the uh, homosexuality is not so accepted in his where he comes from. <laughs> Seth's from Compton. <laughs> Just it's literally the perfect setup. Like a guy from Compton, and I made him make out with another older man. It's for good for Seth. Yeah. It, get, it gets him. It gets him some airtime. So they went through with that skit, and uh, Seth was pretty righteously traumatized by it. Um, I mean, thinking that you're gonna, you know, make out with uh, this really, you know, attractive woman, and you're tricked into making out with a 45-year-old Jason Nash, who's just like a washed-up Vine star that got famous because kids liked his loops. I'm not, like, throwing shade or anything. I mean, look at my subscriber count, look at my views, nobody watches this channel. I mainly do these videos for me, but then again, I've never been accused of sexual harassment. Um, it looks like legal action is going to be taken as well. Uh, check it out. Just a trigger warning. Um, a group of seven college students was on their way to meet David Dobrik, but Hannah didn't know who he was. The friends piled into one of their cars to go shoot a video with Dobrik's YouTube famous posse. This time, November 2018, he had about two million to 10 million subscribers, but Hannah didn't know who he was. Uh, Hannah was a 20-year-old sophomore at private liberal arts college, um, but they ended up yeah, this stupid paywall right here. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, hang on, let me find it. But yeah, basically, David has lost every single one of his sponsors, any type of revenue that was coming in. And this is the actual allegation right here. David Dobrik has a string of allegations against him in Vlog Squad named, uh, I can't, I'm not even going to try that, who's been accused of rape. So let me be clear, David was not the one accused of rape, but it was Dominicus or whatever with video to back up the claim. Um, the investigation also followed another controversy. So yeah, it looks like David Dobrik is in a little bit of hot water. Um, and I don't think that he's going to be able to get his way out of it this time. Um, I mean, his charm and his money and his accolades can only get him so far. Whenever you commit uh, you know, something as atrocious as that, uh, I don't really think there is like a redemption or like a coming back from that. Nobody likes that, you know. Anyway, I just thought this was an interesting story. If you guys want to hear more about this kind of stuff, let me know. I have got to start cleaning. So thank you. God bless.